Hello there, and welcome, beautiful stars. What's the overall energy between you two right now? This one. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like you guys are working on building something firm and established here. And uh, this could be someone that you've known for a while, many of you. Let's see. Um, Queen of Pentacles is a very nice uh, energy for relationships overall. It's, you know, someone who's very caring and very generous. So I'm really curious to see what the other cards are going to bring up because this is a very good energy so far between you two. Okay, we have a card flying across the room here. Nice. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. And here we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Understanding. Wow, this card has come up for at, at least three zodiac signs this week. Wow, well, this is a beautiful card to have for a relationship. So I'm feeling a really nice energy between you both overall. That you both are taking this, for the most part, pretty seriously, but you're still enjoying one another quite a bit. So this is definitely the key for a long-lasting relationship, is to be able to have a lot of fun together and the understanding as well. All right, here we have the minstrel. Let your intentions be known. All right, so that could be some advice here for you Sagittarius, that it might be the time to... Um, speak a little bit more about the future with your person here. Maybe you guys haven't had enough conversations because this has been more of a light relationship up to this point, maybe more of a friendly relationship. But it looks like things are starting to go deeper here because it looks like you guys have created somewhat of um, an empathetic bond between each other where there's just this, you can just see right into each other and kind of know what the other is thinking and feeling. And it, I just feel like a really nice love between you two. It's uh, kind of an innocent love here. Okay, so if things are feeling a bit, you know, rocky right now between you and your person, maybe this isn't the reading for you, but we'll see what comes up for you individually. Okay, so let's look at you first, Sagittarius, and then we'll look at your person. Okay, Sagittarius, what's going on with you? What's your overall energy in this connection? The Ten of Cups. Okay, wow, this is good. I'm really happy. Um, I hope this is resonating for a lot of you because it looks like you're really happy with this person right now because I'm getting no negative energy from this, pretty much the overall stuff. So, um, yeah, some of you, I feel like this is a friendship that's developed over time and it's just gotten happier. Um, you guys are starting to get a little more serious or this could be new love for some of you and you're just really excited and you really want to do whatever you can to make this work. And it looks like, you know, the feelings are pretty mutual here. Okay. 10 of cups is wonderful to come up for your overall energy. So let's get you some more cards here. What else is going on with you, Sagittarius? Girl with a snake. Okay, here's our first like shady energy here. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enable and boundaries. So this could be speaking to your past here. Maybe you've been pretty empathic with people. You know, you're a very understanding person here. You can maybe have some Pisces in your chart. And you've um, maybe you've recognized that this person is also empathetic like you are you know someone who does genuinely care and so you're really happy that you found someone who you can be you know compatible with someone you can trust someone you can let some of your guard down with let's we'll see what else comes up though open i'm afraid of opening up my heart again yeah that's what i'm getting from you that this person i feel like they are helping you to open you back up again to love because uh, understandably you might have shut down in the past from being through some really difficult stuff and yeah i really i really hope that's what's going on here because i would love to see you guys be able to heal from whatever has happened to you in the past here's shocking number 36 i'm amazed by your beauty so this could be you know 
these feelings for this person maybe just hit you totally out of nowhere. You weren't expecting this, you know, whether it was a friend or just a new person coming into your life. Okay. Um, and I feel like this beauty is speaking to you. Um, yes, you admire their physical beauty, but I feel like it's especially speaking to you. You're like, wow, you're actually a really beautiful person. Like inside. Music could be important in your connection as well here with this minstrel card. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. And rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. Okay, so what I'm reading from here, since we have the Ten of Cups here, which is a lot of happiness, um, I'm still getting more of this is like from your past. Maybe you had someone who you thought was an, a soulmate or the love of your life reject you in the past, and now you're seeing that, wow, um, I'm glad that they rejected me because you know now I'm finding, and I see that everything happens for a reason, because now I'm finding the true one for me, the one who can truly love me as I am, the one who truly understands me, the one who doesn't want to take advantage of me, who won't take advantage of me, the one who is equally generous to me as I am to them, the one who can um, understand my jokes and have fun with me. So, very interesting. <clears throat> All right, what are you thinking, Sagittarius, about your person right now? The Hermit? The Eight of Swords? And the Nine of Swords. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what is going on here, you guys? For a few of you, this could be that um, this could be you were really happy with this person and something happened to make you change your mind and now you're, um, you know, really feeling kind of lost. Uh, some of you could be separated from this person as well right now, and you're just really, you know, especially with the hermit here, and you're really frustrated. This could be more of your anxieties around not being able to be with this person right now, or maybe being afraid that, you know, you found the person that you really love, and this isn't going to work out very well um, right now at the moment. So, yeah, what are your fears and anxieties here? You could be having like a fear of loss, like maybe this is too good to be true, like they're going to get away. Six of Wands. Um, maybe you're afraid you don't have enough to give to this person. Here's the Three of Swords. Or definitely a, a fear, very much a fear of having your heart broken again, yeah, like with this open up card as well. So... It could be you're very much stressed you, um, by the fact you're having feelings for this person because you are not quite fully healed yet. So you're shocked that, you know, you have feelings again. Okay, so what are you feeling about this person, Sagittarius? You're the Magician. And the King of Swords. Wow, yeah, you guys are really trying to keep it cool and really play it um, play it easily here without, yeah, play. Because I feel like you're, you're very, very cautious about jumping into something that might maybe seems too good to be true. Because it really does seem really good, like really good from these cards right here. Um, you could be worried that there's like going to be a snake in your paradise that's going to, because Ten of Cups can feel kind of like a paradise. Here's the moon. Yeah, this is you trying to keep a tight control over all your fears and your worries, your doubts, all the uncertainties. So this connection does have you kind of stressed. Um, it's stirred up a lot within you. Okay, so what are your fears here? The world? Maybe something has, you need to complete something before you can go more fully in this into this relationship. This could be the long distance as well for some of you that is making the future of this connection very unknown for you and you just feel unstable, worried. You just I feel like a lot of worry that this isn't going to work out or your heart is going to get broken. That's the main worries I'm getting here. Okay, so how are you acting right now, Sagittarius? What actions might you be taking in the near future? Okay, with the 6 of cups reversed. It's an interesting 6 of cups. Nine of Cups. Oh, 
Oh, wow. We got the extra card in this deck. The Angel de la Nuit. Angel of the Night. And Judgment. Okay, so the Six of Cups reverse. I feel like you're trying not to really reach out with this person and connect with them too much. I feel like you are recoiling. Um, I feel like you're very much afraid of being, being too vulnerable with this person right now. So you might be putting on more of a laughing face with them rather than wanting to show them your deeper feelings. You could be you know, really coming across that you're very happy. I feel like you are focusing more on your own happiness and contentment right now. Um, you're really, I feel like you're really afraid of sharing this with someone else. The angel of the night, you know, maybe um, you're very tempted to reach out to them at night, maybe during the day, you know, everything's all good. But then at night, you're just thinking about them like crazy. And um, you could be just thinking back a lot or at night, you're, you're up at night, you know, nine of swords, just thinking back about your past, trying to come to terms with your past here. Yeah, I feel like you're still having a hard time leaving the past behind, especially with the six of cups reversed here. You know, she's like still looking back on the past. I think this is the first time this has come up for me in this deck. It's a very interesting judgment card. So yeah, I feel like you're just a little still hesitant about moving forward on this path. But I feel like once you can reconcile these feelings, it's like you'll do anything to to make things work between you two. Or maybe some of you have been putting in so much work into this connection. You've been very committed and loyal, and some of you feel like it's time to move on. And um, it's very hard for you to move on. Some of you could be kind of like stuck in the past. I, yeah, I do feel a lot of you are, are feeling stuck in the past. Um I do feel a lot of water energy here with you too, Sagittarius. Like I said, some of you might have some Pisces in your chart, but we have Cancer as well. So now let's look at your person, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, what is their overall energy towards you, your person? The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so to me, this card just means, you know, they're being pretty independent right now, just really focusing on building their own life, working on their own stuff. And the positive side I always say about this card is I don't feel they're off like looking for anyone else or, you know, partying with a bunch of other people or anything like that. It's more just like, hey, I'm I'm honestly just hard at work right now. Okay, yeah, because um, we had the world coming up in reverse on the bottom of the deck here. So, yeah, they could be having some concerns about their career right now, so they're needing to put in the extra work. Or this could even be speaking to when the world came up for you as well, that, you know, this is a long distance connection and this is seems like a difficult obstacle between you two right now that they're not sure how you guys are going to get through. Okay, so what else for them, Sagittarius's person? Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Wow. So, yeah, maybe you really like opened up their mind to a lot. This has been a pretty big connection, big, powerful connection here. And this is why maybe some of them have withdrawn a bit to just kind of think things over because you've really done a lot maybe to open their mind. You had to like broaden them up to, you know, higher ways of thinking. I mean, you are Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is a big thinker, you know, um, very open-minded and knows a lot about philosophy and stuff. So, we've been learning a lot from you. Here's wedding. This situation involves marriage. What's coming out about new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this is what I was getting from this initially, that you both, maybe the feelings for each other are just kind of coming up all of a sudden. And this freaked both of you out here. Wedding, uh, let's see here. I'm going to clarify and card for wedding. All right, we have the Empress in reverse. So some of them could be divorced or about to get a divorce or something like this. And, you know, you are you brought new love into their life and maybe really started to show them that, you know, their marriage wasn't good for them or something, you know. So maybe you're really helping them to evolve in their life right now. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Well, I hope it's none of the other, you know, the more negative words for you guys. But of course, take what resonates for you. So I feel like this is mostly like, for most of you, this is them, yeah, kind of tuning out into their own 
work, but they still do have their mind on you. Maybe they're still, you know, checking out what's up with you. If you guys are connected on social media, like I feel like their mind is still on you a lot. You know, they're not just like ready to let this go or anything like that. Because there's too much of a, a nice bond here from these cards. Is this one? Maybe some of you did let your intentions be known to this person, and this is they've gone a little bit quiet to go, you know, into their cave and just focus. And you know, you're quiet here too with the hermit, and just figure out, you know, what what should we do? What's the next step here? Okay, this came up reversed. So this is desire. I miss the way you taste the those soft lips on my face, your warm embrace, everything you gave. So to me, this is speaks of a strong attraction and desire for you, but they are trying to cool it down to just to kind of take a break here. All right, what else for you, Sagittarius' person? Oh, nice. So this is kind of like the Six of Cups, nostalgic. I love you. All right. So yeah, this is um, definitely confirmation of this nice energy I feel between you two. So I feel like this person does love you feel or feels pulled to you in that way, does feel some kind of affection and caring for you. It, it could be really hard for them to be pulled away here. Yeah, we had this just popping off the deck as well. Passion, you make me feel things I can't even describe. So passion, desire, wow. And uh, there's not that many cards like that in this deck, actually. There's like 90 cards in this deck. Okay, um, what are they thinking about you, Sagittarius? Nine of Pentacles reversed. So they might be wondering, like, hey, are you happy? Are you happy without me? Are you happy since we're not really talking as much right now? Oh, the lovers in reverse. Yeah, this is on their mind a lot. You know, the separation between you two, or if there was a breakup, or a pause in the action. It's it's really kind of thrown off their equilibrium. Maybe they were kind of happy being this independent person before, and now they're like, wow, I'm not so much. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Okay, let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Eight of Pentacles here, some of them might be really working hard and earnest to advance in their life so you guys can overcome whatever obstacles are between you two. All right, what are they feeling towards you, Sagittarius, right now? We've got two cards coming out here. All right, this is the Seven of Cups. So just like you, there's some uncertainty here because you had the moon coming up. But I'm, I just feel like you guys are really going into kind of like warrior mode right now. You know, because this is hard for you to face, I feel. High Priestess. You are like this beautiful mystery to them. Yeah, you've really opened them up to so much more in life. Um, you know, they might have been really just focused in the material world up to this point. And I feel like you've really, you know, brought them, brought them a taste of heaven on earth. That understanding card looks a lot like the High Priestess to me, too. Emperor. Interesting. Okay, yeah, here's the understanding card. So you've really opened them up to higher levels of understanding life in general and their, you know, their specific situation here, whatever going, whatever is going on. The Emperor, let's see. So both of you are trying to come across as like this strong and powerful person and yeah, just trying to like nobly go through this uncertain time together. Let me get you one clarifying card for the Emperor. The page of cups because underneath it all you guys are both like so playful with each other it's like if you i feel like so many of you just want to like strip down all that's come between you and it's frustrating there's all this like build up between you two but when it, at the end of the day you guys are it seems like you're really you know perfect for each other there is this understanding this can be a card of understanding and listening as well so this could mean you know even if they are putting up a stony front with you sometimes they are underneath listening to you Okay, so how are they acting towards you, Sagittarius, or what actions might they take? Okay, well, um, that's too many. Let's see. Okay. That's too many. Eight of Wands. The Nine of Swords reversed. Okay, so this could be encouraging here. Some of them 
might be coming in to communicate or travel towards you if um you know in the near future here the nine of swords reverse this could mean maybe they are getting over some of their fears around communicating with you and you know, maybe they've had enough time to do some thinking on the situation maybe they could, they're coming around to understand that they do love you because like i said queen of pentacles is a very you know fixed stable card you know it's someone who's just going to like love you for the rest of your life maybe not like an overwhelming passion which this person does have passion for you right now but more just like you know, very stable, I want to be there for you kind of thing. So what else here? Oh, okay, Ace of Swords. So for many of you, communication coming in, they're getting over it. What are they getting over? What, is, what are their fears of getting over? So they're wanting to face the truth, tell you the truth, something. Seven of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups. So they could be getting just getting over that, you know, this is going to take some time. Um, and they could be seeing, like, it's worth it to put the investment into you both being happy. So they could really be seeing that. All right. So let's take a look now at what are their overall intentions towards you, Sagittarius. Okay, we got, like, two cards just flying right off the deck here. All right, yeah, here's the Nine of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this thing, this person does want to persist in this connection. I feel like the main message coming through is that they, they're they very, very busy in their own life. You know, it's like they're having to really maybe lift up everyone else's issues and problems and juggle everyone else's issues and problems. So I feel like they just have a lot on their plate so if they haven't been there for you as much, it's because they do have so much else they're juggling in their life as well. But they do try to keep their eye on you, their thoughts on you. All right, their intentions towards you right now, Sagittarius. Um, are you the person's intentions towards you right now? How beautiful. We have the Empress. So this is maybe possibly marriage. This could just be, you know, they they're still here they want to be there for the long run with you just like you know you're you find them really beautiful they find you really beautiful so the empress the queen of pentacles you know i feel like this person doesn't want to leave your life anytime soon okay what are their blocks and fears when it comes to this connection and you two cards the hanged man and death okay so there could be something that they have to end in their life could be some kind of pattern, you know, some kind of situation they're in, a work situation, a bad relationship, but they are just kind of afraid to take action. They don't know really when is the right time to take action. So they're just kind of hanging out, just trying to figure that out. That's their main block. So I don't feel like their block is much to do with you or this connection. I feel like they really love you and really desire you. Uh, yeah, we had actual desire. Yeah, come up where I don't remember where it was. Yep, yeah, desire. So... Yeah, I feel like they're kind of just surrendering this right now. All right, what does the near future of this connection look like between you two? Oh, this is good. The world. So you could be coming to completion on some difficult cycle that you were going through. Um, just, Or you could just be feeling more happiness and like feeling like, yes, we can overcome these obstacles. This could mean travel to one another for some of you, since we also had the Eight of Wands as well. So all, overall, very positive cards. So like positive things coming in, um, in the near future for this connection. It does look that way, especially since we had like Eight of Wands and Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords reversed. So this looks good. Okay, so now let's take a look at some advice for you, and then we will get some messages from them. Okay, what advice does Sagittarius most need in this connection? The Two of Pentacles. So another card, we had like two cards that came up with weightlifting. That's so interesting. So maybe that's like specific advice for a few of you. You know, keep up your weightlifting routine. Um, so let's see. One more card here for your advice. 
the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, this is like a lot of persistence here. Um, just keep focusing on your daily routine. Step by step, you are making progress. Yeah, make the effort. You know, don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. I feel like it's important to really be putting a lot of effort into yourself and your personal goals. And, um, you know, during this time apart, you know, because there's still like this kind of waiting time. So don't waste your energy, like putting energy into like waiting for them. And, like trying to understand when they're going to communicate with you, stuff like that. Make sure you're just still making slow and steady progress in your life in the meantime. Yeah, here's the hermit coming up again. So this is like, you know, really just go within, focus on yourself, as is the usual advice in many readings. What else do you need to know, Sagittarius? What else? What advice for you? Ooh, hope. This is a very pretty card. It's the Hawthorn and the black veined white butterfly. So it does seem like there's a lot of hope in this situation with all the energy here being very nice. So, and like the love and the desire and the passion and the communication here. So yeah, I would say for many of you, don't give up hope on this connection. Don't lose hope in life in general is the main message here. Yeah. Just stay strong. A lot of stuff about strength coming through with the, all the weightlifting. So like you're stronger than you think. Don't give up. You know, some, when you are making progress in your life in earnest, you know, things do tend to start getting better. And here is situations don't hurt, expectations do. Man, this is some good advice here. It's really true that your expectations are what ultimately hurt you. Um, so if you can, and I'm not talking about like really bad relationship stuff. I'm just talking about, you know, when you're like hoping someone will contact you and then they don't, you know, it's more just like, you know, the act of them not contacting you doesn't hurt. It's because you expected them to contact you and it really hurts that your hopes got let down and you got disappointed. So yeah, just do what you can to kind of release expectations like around, um, this connection and, you know, just find your peace and then be open to just letting things flow, like go with the flow with this connection. Okay. Messages for you from your person, Sagittarius, what would they actually say to you? Sometimes I stay awake thinking of you. That's so interesting. So they could be, you know, mirroring you here. Cause we had like this angel of the night, where it's like, I feel like maybe you guys are like really connecting in dream world at night. We also have the nine of swords here as well. That can be, you know, speaking of nighttime as well. You and I were too young. Interesting with the play hard card. So maybe the relationship, the new love, if the relationship itself is still too young, it needs some time to grow over time. You came closer than anyone. Wow. So I feel like this person does know you're something special. Especially with the high priestess and the spiritual lesson coming up. You know, that means you're something different and, and set apart from anyone else they've known or been with. When you hear our song, know that I am with you. That's cool because, you know, I was getting a lot of like music stuff coming through here. Especially with the minstrel Our love is protected. I can only work with what I had at the time. Yeah, I feel like this person is doing their best overall. Um, and then I'm hearing the lyrics, I'll be your guardian, your sword, and your shield from this card. You will always be in my heart. You'll be in my heart. Like the Tarzan song. Okay, I'll get back to that one. That's an advice card. Oh, wow. I think about you as I fall asleep. And as soon as I wake up, I have to distract myself throughout the day to keep my mind from wandering back to you. So two cards about thinking about you, like as they're going to sleep. Interesting. I wasn't even going to use this deck. I accidentally grabbed it. So I don't want to fight this anymore. 
Yeah, that could be the Nine of Swords reversed as well. You know, they're done having anxiety about it. They just want to, like, relax and surrender to it. <laughs> you are incredibly sexy. I can't stop imagining all the things I want to do to you. Yeah, we have the Seven of Cups. This could be fantasizing, imagining. We have the passion and the desire. Wow, it's pretty intense. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Uh, I'll get you a few more of these cards as well. This is the deck I meant to use. And actually, let's take a look at this. Root chakra, fear and impatience, lack of abundance, greediness, anger and aggression, physical blockages surrounding safety and security. So they might just have a lot they're dealing with right now. Get grounded and practice techniques that will anchor you back into the present moment. So that could be some good advice for you here. I want to be there for you, there to take care of you. Yeah, I'll be your guardian, your sword, and your shield. Our connection is so beautiful, but it's also painful and confusing as hell. You feel like the sweetest home I've never known. So found in the past from being through some really difficult stuff and... Yeah, I really, I really hope that's what's going on here because I would love to see you guys be able to heal from whatever has happened to you in the past. Here's shocking, number 36, I'm amazed by your beauty. So this could be, you know, these feelings for this person maybe just hit you totally out of nowhere. You weren't expecting this, you know, whether it was a friend or just a new person coming into your life. Okay, um, and I feel like this beauty is speaking to you. Um, yes, you admire their physical beauty, but I feel like it's especially speaking to you. You're like, wow, you're actually a really beautiful person. Like inside, music could be important in your connection as well here with this minstrel card. Acceptance, everything happens for a reason. And rejection, this rejection is actually divine protection. Okay, so what I'm reading from here, since we have the Ten of Cups here, which is a lot of happiness, um, I'm still getting more of this is like from your past. Maybe you had someone who you thought was an, a soulmate or the love of your life reject you in the past, and now you're seeing that, wow, um, I'm glad that they rejected me because you know now I'm finding, and I see that everything happens for a reason, because now I'm finding the true one for me, the one who can truly love me as I am, the one who truly understands me, the one who doesn't want to take advantage of me, who won't take advantage of me, the one who is equally generous to me as I am to them, the one who can um, understand my jokes and have fun with me. So, very interesting. <clears throat> All right, what are you thinking, Sagittarius, about your person right now? The Hermit? The Eight of Swords? And the Nine of Swords. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what is going on here, you guys? For a few of you, this could be that um, this could be you were really happy with this person and something happened to make you change your mind and now you're, um, you know, really feeling kind of lost. Uh, some of you could be separated from this person as well right now, and you're just really, you know, especially with the hermit here, and you're really frustrated. This could be more of your anxieties around not being able to be with this person right now, or maybe being afraid that, you know, you found the person that you really love, and this isn't going to work out very well um, right now at the moment. So, yeah, what are your fears and anxieties here? You could be having like a fear of loss, like maybe this is too good to be true, like they're going to get away. Six of Wands. Um, maybe you're afraid you don't have enough to give to this person. Here's the Three of Swords. Or definitely a, a fear, very much a fear of having your heart broken again, yeah, like with this open up card as well. So... It could be you're very much stressed you, um, by the fact you're having feelings for this person because you are not quite fully healed yet. So you're shocked that, you know, you have feelings again. Okay, so what are you feeling about this person, Sagittarius? You're the Magician. And the King of Swords. Wow, yeah, you guys are really trying to keep it cool and 
really play it um, play it easily here without yeah play because I feel like you're you're very very cautious about jumping into something that might maybe seems too good to be true because it really does seem really good like really good from these cards right here and um, you could be worried that there's like going to be a snake in your paradise that's gonna because ten of cups can feel kind of like a paradise here's the moon. Yeah, this is you trying to keep a tight control over all your fears and your worries, your doubts, all the uncertainties. So this connection does have you kind of stressed. Um, it's stirred up a lot within you. Okay, so what are your fears here? The world? Maybe something has you need to complete something before you can go more fully in this into this relationship. This could be the long distance as well for some of you that is making the future of this connection very unknown for you and you just feel unstable, worried. You just I feel like a lot of worry that this isn't going to work out or your heart is going to get broken. That's the main worries I'm getting here. Okay, so how are you acting right now, Sagittarius? What actions might you be taking in the near future? Okay, we have the Six of Cups reversed. It's an interesting Six of Cups. Nine of Cups. Oh, wow. We got the extra card in this deck. The Angel de la Nuit. Angel of the Night. And Judgment. Okay, so the Six of Cups reverse. I feel like you're trying not to really reach out with this person and connect with them too much. I feel like you are recoiling um, I feel like you're very much afraid of being, being too vulnerable with this person right now. So you might be putting on more of a laughing face with them rather than wanting to show them your deeper feelings. You could be, you know, really coming across that you're very happy. I feel like you are focusing more on your own happiness and contentment right now. Um, you're really, I feel like you're really afraid of sharing this with someone else. The angel of the night, you know, maybe, um, you're very tempted to reach out to them at night, maybe during the day, you know, everything's all good. But then at night, you're just thinking about them like crazy. And um, you could be just thinking back a lot or at night, you're, you're up at night, you know, nine of swords, just thinking back about your past, trying to come to terms with your past here. Yeah, I feel like you're still having a hard time leaving the past behind, especially with the six of cups reversed here. You know, she's like still looking back on the past. I think this is the first time this has come up for me in this deck. It's a very interesting judgment card. So yeah, I feel like you're just a little still hesitant about moving forward on this path. But I feel like once you can reconcile these feelings, it's like you'll do anything to to make things work between you two. Or maybe some of you have been putting in so much work into this connection. You've been very committed and loyal, and some of you feel like it's time to move on. And um, it's very hard for you to move on. Some of you could be kind of like stuck in the past. I, yeah, I do feel a lot of you are, are feeling stuck in the past. Um, I do feel a lot of water energy here with you too. Sagittarius, like I said, some of you might have some Pisces in your chart, but we have Cancer as well. So now let's look at your person, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, what is their overall energy towards you, your person? The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so to me, this card just means, you know, they're being pretty independent right now, just really focusing on building their own life, working on their own stuff. And the positive side I always say about this card is I don't feel they're off, like, looking for anyone else or, you know, partying with a bunch of other people or anything like that. It's more just like, hey, I'm, I'm honestly just hard at work right now. Okay, yeah, because um, we had the world coming up in reverse on the bottom of the deck here. So, yeah, they could be having some 